In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Solana Network to MetaMask. So please watch the video until the end and follow this tutorial step by step to avoid making mistakes. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to take note is that MetaMask doesn't natively support the Solana Network. But however, you can still interact with the Solana blockchain using MetaMask through a bridge. So here's how to do it. So first install the MetaMask extension. So you can download and install the MetaMask extension for your web browser from the official MetaMask website. Now create or import a wallet. So once MetaMask is installed, create a new wallet or import an existing one. So follow the prompts to set up your wallet and secure it with a password and backup phrase. Now add custom RPC network. So you'll need to add it to your custom network in MetaMask. So first open MetaMask and click on the network dropdown. Now select custom PRC from the dropdown menu and enter the following details. So the network name should be Solana. Now RPC URL, you'd need to find a trusted RPC endpoint for the Solana network. Now the chain ID, so we want Solana's chain ID is usually 101, but verify this with the current network. The symbol is Sol, and the block explorer, you can use Solana's block explorer URL. Now save and switch network. So after entering the details, click save and or add network to add the Solana network to MetaMask. Then switch to the Solana network from the network dropdown. Now use a bridge. So to interact with the Solana-based assets like SPL tokens in MetaMask, you'll need to use a bridge that connects the Solana network with Ethereum. So examples of such bridges include Wormhole and REN protocol. Just follow the instructions provided by the bridge service to wrap SOL tokens or other Solana assets into Ethereum compatible tokens. Now simply add tokens. So after wrapping Solana's tokens, you can add them to your MetaMask wallet by adding the custom token address. So you'll find this address on the bridges interface or documentation. So once everything is set up, you can use MetaMask to interact with Solana-based decentralized applications or the apps and perform transactions on the Solana network. So that's it. If you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.